Okay, what we're going to try and do is figure out how to open this Nebuchadnezzar of Domain de Chevalier 1998. Nebuchadnezzar is a 15 litre bottle or the equivalent of 18 bottles. And the real problem with it is one, the corks are monster to get out, and then secondly, how to get the wine out the bottle. And we're going to try and do that using a siphon or siphon. So this capsule protects the wine and the cork, but it is a pain in the neck to get rid of. And I don't think my wife's going to be very happy when she sees the mess. That's a big cork. Right. Now levers and all that stuff don't really work with these type of corks. You've got to use the old fashioned vertical pull method. <laughs> and what we're going to do... Can you help holding it down? Here she comes. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. What a beauty! Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> Look at that. Does it smell all right? Hope so. <laughs> I don't think smelling the cork tells you anything anyhow, but that's not here. But the waiters normally do that. I don't know, because they don't know what they're doing. So, what we're now going to do, and the problem we have to solve, is we're going to use this uh, medical grade silicone tubing. We're going to measure the length inside the bottle and put a mark, and that's as deep as we want to go. But we need to find a way of securing it while it's in the bottle. And my solution is to take the cork, I don't know whether it's a good solution, and see if I can drill um, two holes. Yeah, those two holes, one for breathing, to let the air in, and one to um, enable us to filter. There it is. Okay, so we've got the bottle open, this is the cork, and what we've done, we've made by drilling through the cork, um, and we push the half inch silicone tubing through. Now, one is to let the air in, the second one is to now, we've got to measure it so that we don't want it, um, we don't want it on the very bottom because then it, it will be sucking up the sediment as opposed to the good wine. But it looks like that's pretty close to the bottom. So I'm going to put a mark on here with a pen that you can't see <laughs> that's, that's okay so that's as far in as we want to use it now I'm going to pull that up ah. so that we get the good wine and we don't have any risk so now now this may not fit back in but that's Murphy's law and it, it doesn't need to be the cork but it has to be something that is going to enable the siphoning equipment to stay in place. And then what we want is a length that goes below the bottle um, here, say, and we're going to cut it here. So just take that. Uh, I'll give it be a bit more generous. Now, from a home winemaking beer supplies place, I got this tap. So the idea is once we get the siphon going, I'll pinch it, put the tap in, close it, and then we're going to be able to at, at will uh, fill. Now, I don't like the way that kinks over, so I'm going to have to have a look at that. But this is the best bit, of course, folks. Drinking a Nebuchadnezzar through a straw. <laughs> Oh. 
Well, that's very nice. <laughs> so, there we go. We start filling. Oh, what have I done? I have a little lower there. That's the problem. Okay. Can you um, just hold that? Thank you. I'm going to. Now you can move it a sec. Put the tap in. Okay. So now, does it work? Sort of. Starts working. Hold it lower. Oh wow! This you need to keep the tube open. Okay. Oh, it's going now. So, what we've got going here is our first oh, decanter of Domain de Chevalier. You get ready it's almost full. Dad, Dad, it's getting full. full. <laughs> and then we switch it off. Okay. Domaine de Chevalier Nebuchadnezzar on tap. What could be better? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>